So yesterday in Florida, President Biden used abortion to attack Donald Trump. There are a number of things in play here. Democrats understand that their pro-abortion stance, okay, they accept abortion, they encourage abortion, they want no limitations on abortion. All of that is helping them in this secular country. They understand that. So not only do they encourage abortion, they demonize people with an opposing point of view, the pro-life people. They demonize them. They are violators of women's reproductive rights. So Biden is the leader of this movement. He himself doesn't really know what he's saying, but they put stuff in front of him and he's happy to read it. Now, last year, 2023, there were more than one million abortions in America. More than a million fetuses were destroyed. Okay, that is the highest number in more than a decade, according to the Gutmacher Institute. Now, some of those abortions were necessary. Catastrophic damage to the mother, even death. And the baby inside the womb damaged beyond repair. So some abortions were necessary. That is a fact. Most were of convenience. The mother simply did not want a child. That is the truth. Okay. Now, in the United States, there are 19 states, individual states, that have no restrictions on abortion. Up until 15 minutes of birthing, you can destroy the unborn in 19 states. 14 states have intense restrictions, okay? Idaho, Arizona, states like that. Very hard to get abortions there. 17 states are in the middle. Okay, they have some restrictions, but abortion is accessible. Okay, so that means 36 states in the union, you can get an abortion. Keep that in mind. There is no state that bans abortion completely. None. So, enter Joe Biden, who yesterday was again touting that he is a champion of the abortion process. Go. The Supreme Court was wrong. It should be a constitutional right in the federal constitution, a federal right. And it shouldn't matter where in America you live. It's about, this isn't about states, right? It's about women's rights. Okay. Um, Apparently to Joe Biden, there is no moral question here at all. None. To me, and I mean, he's a guy, he's raised Catholic, he goes to church, and he's got no, it's not like Mario Cuomo the Democratic governor of New York in the past who said, look, I don't believe in abortion, but I'm not going to impose that belief on other people who see it differently. Not like that. Biden, like, oh, right, right, we need a constitutional, you know, it's like, oh, man. Um, and then Biden enters the land of deceit. The first one wasn't deceitful. He believes it. Joe Biden believes there should be no limitations on abortion at all for anything. That's what he believes. And he's not alone. But now he goes into the land of deceit. Go. It was a political deal to get rid of Roe v. A deal. Political deal he made with the evangelical base of the Republican Party to look past his moral, if they look past his moral and character flaws in exchange for his commitment to appoint justice to the Supreme Court would overturn Roe. Don't think he's making a deal right now with MAGA extremists to ban nationwide abortion in every single state, because he's making it. In fact, the MAGA majority in the House of Representatives has introduced three separate bans, three separate bans to, cho- to ban choice nationwide in every single state, based on the state, each state. That's just a lie. There, nobody is proposing any law that would ban abortion in every single state. Not happening. There's no proposal. Nobody's doing it. 
and Trump himself, okay, very clear. I'm glad the states can decide the issue. That's my point. I've known a man for more than 30 years. He doesn't, as I said, doesn't care about these social issues. Doesn't care about abortion. It's like get it off the table. He knows it hurts him and the Republican Party. So Biden just gets up there and says this gibberish, and nobody challenges him on it, okay, except me. And then some of our other conservative commentators, and I'm not a conservative commentator, by the way. I'm an independent. But there are conservative commentators who call them out, but they never get mainstream uh, exposure. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.